Hey you guys, welcome. Today we're gonna make a cute little fake donut beehive with fake honey on it. So um, I'm really excited about this one. I think you guys are gonna like it too. So we're gonna start out with our foam clay. Now I'm gonna make three donuts for this little beehive. So I want to make sure I have enough for all three donuts and they're going to get, they're going to be different sizes. So I'm going to start with like a bigger one on the bottom and then a little smaller and then a smaller one on the top. And how big you want to make this will determine how much clay you need. Like if you want to make it, um, you know, big like this, then obviously use more clay. I'm making mine small because I have these little tiny bees. So I want it to look to scale. So I'm going to add a little territorial beige, just a couple of drops, and then a little bit of yellow. This is just going to give kind of base color of the donut, kind of light pastry color. So just mix that into your clay. So now I'll roll it out a little bit and then I can Make it into three sections. So like I said, I want one that's kind of the biggest piece and then one that's a little smaller and then the top one will be the smallest. So we'll start with the biggest one and just roll your clay into a ball and then we're going to flatten that out. shape it up into a circle and then we're just going to poke our finger in the center and make that opening and then we'll do the same thing with the second one and technically you don't have to make the openings because they're not going to show so that's entirely up to you so like for this one i'll show you we'll just do this type of donut that doesn't have the hole in the center because the top one's going to be this shape. So it'll cover up, you know, all the holes will be covered up. So you don't necessarily have to bother with that. I just realized. <laughs> okay. And then we're going to put this one right on top and then I'm going to make the smallest one the same way. So that's what it looks like. Now we'll shade up our donuts. So I'm gonna use territorial beige, yellow, and harvest orange. I'm just gonna do one drop of each and that'll be plenty to do this project. So just mix your three colors together and then get a lot of the paint out of your brush so we can dry brush. So because these are donuts, we're gonna leave that fry line right in the middle there. So we want to leave that part light. So I'm going to start with the top here and just lightly shade across the top. And then as we go on the side, just I'm going to kind of make a little kind of guide line here so I know where to leave the fry line. And then we're going to do the second donut the same way. The other two donuts the same way. Make sure you really get into those cracks because you don't want it to look white in there. Or too light, I guess I should say. It's not white. <laughs> Okay, now for mine, I want to make the little hole where the bees go in. So choose the side that you like the best to use for the front side. And then I'm just using a skewer. So you can make this round or you could make it like heart shaped. I think I'm gonna make mine heart shaped. So I'm just gonna take my skewer and just make a little heart shape in the clay. 
And I'm gonna make it go kind of deep because I want it to look like it's an actual hole. I don't want you to see in the donut necessarily. Okay, so I'm just gonna leave mine like this. If, if you wanted, you could put some white sand on these. Just use Mod Podge and put the white sand over. Or you could put some gloss Mod Podge just to make it look glossy, kind of like glazy. I just am gonna leave mine like this because I don't think any of that's really necessary unless that's the look that you want. For the honey, we're gonna use this hot glue and I'll have a link to this in the description for you. Now, you wanna use a low temperature glue gun if you can. The one I have is a high temp and what will happen is it'll start getting bubbles in it and it'll get cloudy. So I'm gonna show you what I do to keep that from happening even when you're using a high temp glue gun. But if you have a low temp, use that one. Or if you don't and you wanna buy one for this purpose, then I would recommend that. So the other thing I'm gonna use is my little bees. So I'm gonna get those out and get them ready. This set I bought has ladybugs and bees in it. I really like these ones because they have the actual wings, but there are tons of other ones on Amazon, um, different styles and stuff. I'll link to these in the description if you wanna get these same exact ones. And then I'm also gonna put a honey dipper on there. I wanna tie a little bow on it, I think though. So I'm just gonna tie a ribbon around. Okay, so I can tell my glue is starting to get hot now. I can smell it. So I'm going to start putting my honey dripping down. I want to make sure it doesn't cover this hole. I have my bees ready so that I can go ahead and get those into the wet honey before it dries up. So you may have to stop and put some bees on. so you don't miss it while it's melty. And then if you notice it's getting too hot, just unplug your glue gun for a minute and then you can just plug it back in. And you'll notice it'll start getting bubbles when it gets too hot. So just watch for that. If it seems like it's getting too hot, just take a pause. And then for the top, I'm just gonna fill in the top part here. And then I'm gonna put my honey dipper just right in there so it'll stay. So you'll have to hold it until it completely cools down so that it can um, stand up. So I did unplug my gun and I'm still, you know, I can still use it. So I'm just gonna go around and kinda fill in any spaces I want. And I'm gonna make this a little bit more drippy. Thank you guys so much. I hope you've enjoyed this quick little tutorial. If you haven't seen my other B projects, I'll have one here on the end screen. I'll have my other B projects in the description of the video. Thank you guys, have an awesome day and I'll see you next time.